Welcome back, everyone, to a brand new episode of the Athletes Roundtable. This podcast is brought to you by Athletes Productions, the best place to find Iona highlight reels, podcasts, and much more. Today, we are joined by a women's basketball player. Juana Gamilion. All right, Juana, what grade are you in? Um, I'm uh, second, like, I'm on my second year of my master's, so I'm, like, one semester away to finishing. What are you getting your master's in? Uh, in public relations. Very nice. And what did you get your undergrad in? Economics. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Very different. <laughs> Very different, I know. <laughs> and uh, where are you from? Um, I was born in Argentina, but um, I've been living in Spain since I'm two years old. So. Very nice. What is a big difference between living in the U.S. and living in Spain? Oh, everything. <laughs> it just, everything is different. The culture, the, the food is different, the people. Um, I don't know, it's two different worlds. What are some of your favorite things that you get here where you don't really get in Spain or vice versa? Um, what I love about here is um, the life around sports, how everything is just sport. Well, now that I'm like in this world, um, all that. Also, like living in New York, you know, the opportunities you get if you work in business or almost anything, like even public relations, like I've seen that you get a lot of options. Mm. Um, so, yeah, basically that, I don't know. So, going into basketball here a little bit, what position do you play? Um, dude, that's a tough one, one, two, like point oh, guard, right. guard. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And how did you first get into basketball? I was, I had a friend that he was playing basketball, and um, I was in his school, I was nine, eight, nine years old, the coach of the women's team. She saw me and she was like, hey, like I've seen you, you play, you run like during the break in mm. school and everything like you're pretty fast like do you want to try I was like sure why not <laughs> I was a very um very like a child that just don't stop like I was always doing something running I could not sit still like, I could too. not do it yeah <laughs> I wanted to do everything so when I she asked me I told my mom and she was like sure you know like an opportunity for you to run that would be great. <laughs> um, so I did that same day, went to try out, and I was very shy, didn't want to go in. My sister went in for me. I saw her, I started doing it, and now I'm here, you know. What is the difference between, if there is one, between playing basketball in Spain versus playing basketball in the U.S.? Well, there are many differences. Even though it's the same sport, there are many differences. Like the rules are different. Um, regarding like shot clock mm. and all that, but also the physicality in Spain is much more quicker. Like you mm. run, it's, you only have 24 seconds, so it's mm. just, you gotta go fast. Here it's more steady, it's very physical and that, but you get used to both. Would you wanna go back and play basketball in Spain? Yeah. Is my, that like the future goal? Yeah, my idea is after this year, um, just go play pro back home. Hmm. What would you say is your favorite part of playing basketball? That's a tough one. Um, <laughs> there are many things that basketball brings to you, but I will say, it's not, it might sound cliche, but um, the relationships that you make with people hmm. through the experiences that you live in basketball that you are not going to be able to live through any other thing. Hmm. Yeah, through sports, but basketball is just it's something that people that didn't play basketball don't know like how it feels to be on the court with your teammates and be you know down by down, down by two and having the chance to score and win you know mm. those feelings they just bring you closer with your teammates and i think it's great and also the um, these teammates like they're from all over the world so you have friends all over the world mm. and i think it's amazing to know different cultures different languages different everything so yeah plus like teammates it's like you're with them all the time not just on the court especially in college it's much exactly, different. exactly yeah you live with them 24 7 mm. so so being the captain of the basketball team how do you take that to better the players around you i just um try to help them through lead by example you know um always working hard always um, try my best if I make a mistake just trying to fix it 
in the next one and also like help them as a guide you know because i'm gonna i'm gonna be gone next year and leave so the girls that they're staying like they need to learn so that's what i've been trying to do and try to teach them for when i when i leave they can take over and help the newcomers or other girls that come so mm -hmm. what is different about being a captain versus just being a player on the team oh it's very different as i always say with coach nick one of my coaches it's like i being a captain it's like i have to wear a mask hmm. like i have to wear show no Emotions, you know, mm -hmm. well, emotions, yeah, yeah. Like being excited <laughs> and all that, yeah, getting hyped. But I cannot be like, if I make a mistake of coach talks to you or something, just put faces and be annoyed. No, it's like, I'm serious, I'm here, I got you, I hear you. So the others once sees it, be like, oh, she respects it, like, we gotta respect her too, you know? Mm. So it's like wearing a mask. What is the major difference, like, playing basketball in high school to playing it in college? I think it's high school here it's different from back home okay we don't we don't have high school teams we have clubs mm -hmm. so we played in clubs our whole life and i would say like for us in high school we they teach us like the the not the basics how's it called them the fundamentals yeah mm -hmm. you know <coughs> that's how they teach us back home and i've heard a lot of people that here they don't see to the fundamental fundamentals mm. You just play, you know, like if you're good, yeah, that's great. And you might get like a lot of offers and all that. But the fundamentals of defense, of passing, of reading the court, those like, that's what teaches in Spain. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that prepares, prepared me to come to college, which is a different, um, two different atmospheres. And just bring that Spanish sparkling you know, spark <laughs> to the court. So you played for the Spanish national team. Mm -hmm. Walk me through what that was like, how it was playing against other te national teams. It was something that I did not expect. It was when I was 18. Um, we were in a tournament uh, with my club and there was um, somebody from the national team just checking like every player and everything. And my coach came to me and she was like, yo, like the, there's one that is looking at you and I was like, okay like whatever like she can look but because when i'm from like really from i'm from an island mallorca it's very small our level of basketball is different from people in madrid on everything or barcelona or that it's just a competitive competition is stronger over there so i was like what are they gonna do with me you know <laughs> so then like a month after the tournament happened um she they called me and they were like we want you to come for tryouts and i was like wow like, it's getting serious, like, I can actually go, you know? And I just went there, everybody was like, who are you? Because they knew each other from since under 12. Mm. And I was the new one and under 18, <laughs> so they were like, who are you? And I was like, hey, I'm here, you know? I just work, practice and everything. It was, they were intense practices because they were, they had more level than me, but I just did my thing, what I do best. And when they, got me for the team I was like this is amazing like I, I did not expect it and then we went to play the European tournament uh, European championship and it was it was an amazing experience like playing against other teams from other countries where their basketball is also different maybe more aggressive more subtle more faster you know mm. and it was such a, an amazing <coughs> opportunity to learn from other teams how they play and just meeting new people again, making new friends. So it was hmm. amazing. How did you take that experience to improve your game? I just learned a little bit from each one of the players to how they they move around the court, how they shot, how they the point guard, how they manage the team or something. And I just try to improve that next year of my season. You know, just taking that experience that I've been there and just take it to the court. Would you say that the competition level for the Spanish national team and the national team like tournament, was that better or worse than it is right now in college? Was like the competition better? It's, as I said, it's different. It's very, it's two different worlds of basketball. Okay. Um, so the competition, yeah, might probably be better because it's faster, it's 
-hmm. yeah we are strong too so it's like right now there's not much different like we're both very um physical so mm -hmm. that's it but as i said like we get more the fundamentals and mm -hmm. in america so that might be the difference you know mm. so what is your daily training like now as as a grad student still the same since i was a freshman <laughs> you know right now because we're in season mm -hmm. so it's just work out for two or three hours every day you know um now that we're in season it's mostly um, scouting knowing how the other teams play but also focusing on our own kind of how to defend them and all that sometimes like two maybe one day or two um some lift put some lift in the middle because it's good for mm. strength and everything and gladly i only have two classes that i have to worry about so i <laughs> wow. basically have a lot of time off <coughs> must be a nice lot. <laughs> yeah, <it was> so <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time off so it's just I don't know, sometimes if I have chance or energy, I'll just go shoot, get extra shots, but I'm basically just basketball and that's it, <laughs> you uh -huh. know? So what is your favorite and least favorite part of training? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is just not being there. Basketball is just um, an escape for many players. So for me, it's also too just being there, it's fun. We have fun um, with our B squad. We we get competitive, you know. We go each other. We talk shit. We, you know, it gets it gets fun. There's only one side that's allowed to do that, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the worst part, I don't I don't think there's a worse. You know, everything we do, even if it's running like for punishment or something, it just it teaches you, you know, discipline and. It's like a call for, you did a mistake, you run for that, let's try not to make it again, you know? I don't think there's a worse part. Mm -hmm. D would you say that the way that you prepare for other teams, does that work very well? Or do you still think when you head into the game, it's like, I don't really know what I'm looking for? <clears throat> um, we, we do a pretty good job on um, doing scout and really focusing on it and getting ready for it. Sometimes you go to the game and the best player doesn't have their day and people, a girl from the bench that you were like, okay, maybe we don't have to worry about as much. She goes off and has the game of her life, you know, and we're, we try to adapt and try to defend that. Um, it just, basketball can depend on days. Like, so we, we prepare, yes, sometimes it just doesn't work, you know. Hmm. What do you say, like being the captain of the basketball team, like? Do you have too much pressure being a college athlete or not really? Um, I mean, being the captain, um, it's it's like a job. Like it takes a lot from you because you know you gotta wear a mask, as I said before. Like you gotta help your teammates. You gotta be there for them. You gotta be there for your the captain. Um, have a good relationship with the coaches and all that. Like sometimes you might get a lot and that used to happen to me like for the past I've been the captain for the past two years but the past two years like I've been learning how to do it so this year I'm more ready for it um and I think it's it's nice because the other teams in Iona like they will see me I mean also I've been here for five years so a lot of people like <laughs> probably know me a little bit more so just building relationship with the other captains on the other teams and just I don't know. I don't think it makes it harder. It just makes it fun mm -hmm. for me. So now, moving on to, like, game day, what's the feeling going on inside you? Are you more nervous? Are you excited? What's going on? No, <coughs> it's not nervousness. It's just, I like, I'm ready to go, you know? Like I want to be on the court and start playing. Mm. I hate 7 p.m. games because it takes the whole day <laughs> to get there, so it's, I, I'm the whole day, like, anxious. Mm. I'm like, oh, I got to... Now I gotta go to sleep or I gotta just lay on bed before the game because it's 2 p.m. already, you know? <laughs> but, I don't know, every, every time I step on the court, it's just excitement and focus that I wanna win, you know? Do, do you have, have any, like, sorry, go Jordan. Do you have like uh, pre-game rituals that you do, like to get ready for the game? I used to be very, very, how do you say it? Um, superstitious. Superstitious, like 
to the point where, like I had to put my left sock first and then my right huh. one and then my pants and then my <laughs> bra like I used to be all that and I used to think that if I don't follow that I wouldn't have a good game huh. or yeah, yeah it, w- it was bad <laughs> or like I couldn't sing during warm-ups because if I sing sang a song or something I would just like not focus and I would huh. not win and everything so I got rid of that because I was like that's not that's not okay do you Either remember it, whatever, whatever uh-huh. do you remember like the first time you were going to do that like you change it up where you're like oh my gosh I'm gonna be so bad yeah is that what yeah. happened yeah. yeah I was like oh my gosh okay <laughs> I was singing and they said the singing part I was like singing on the court and I was like oh god, oh god I'm singing I was like okay it's okay Juana I was talking to myself like it's okay it's fine you're fine um I took out the part of like getting ready um because here sometimes when we travel mm-hmm. if there's a problem in the road we might get like 20 minutes late and you only have 10 minutes to get ready so I don't have time to think oh, I have to left sock right sock <laughs> and all that so I just got rid of that easily um, but the singing part yeah I was like oh god oh god what if I'm singing like it's, <laughs> and I was like it's fine it's fine you got it and now it's just like I sing I I don't know I laugh I mm. you know warm up it's fine whatever I do it's not gonna affect me the mm. game do you have any goals for this season specifically as a person as a personal uh choice i guess you could say Mm -hmm. personally or as a team um personally i just want to be my best you know to have this season like being a a good one and be um just improve you know um if i can i want to get the player of the year but it's tough because we had good players Mm. this in this conference, so it's just gonna be a battle until the end. And as a team, just get top of the league. But if we can get Mac champs, perfect. Mm. Um, Mac regular season champs, and then get in, winning a ring. That's my my goal, my last chance. So it's all mm. or nothing this year. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's our, our goal. So I was seeing how you guys are up to like your best record in like five, six years. Like how do you take that and like continue to like dominate? It's it's exciting because we know like this season is starting good, you know. Yeah, we had some games we lost by two, three, that we should have just finished. But those are games that we lost by two, three, like if we fix something like we get it, we got it. And it's it's exciting. That's a, an exciting environment around like practices and for the games, like everybody's just talking like we're, we're good like we we got this you know we we just gotta maybe like right now take one more step and just actually believe it mm-hmm. but yeah I think it's I think it's great and we're going in the right direction so hmm. getting heading into a conference game now so so then yesterday was you suffered your biggest loss of the season do you feel that there were other things that could have be could have been done to at least make it closer or do you feel like that they were just a better team there's always things that you can do and you can fix um, to try to um, get closer and all that and yeah we try we have mistakes you know some defensive mistakes some offensive like we were rushed or things like that but um, of course like yeah we could have done many different things to be close in a closer game but they were also good, you know, mm. like, got to give you that. They're good. So we tried. We didn't put our hands down, and we just fought as much as we could, and this was the result. Mm. We don't like it, but it's basketball. So let's move on and go to the next one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now for the rest of the story, you're, you're originally from Argentina? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so why did you choose to come to Iona? Um, it was, yeah. Um, I was playing on my team, it was like semi-professional, and this was in January, and my assistant coach, he was always asking me like, hey, you wanna go to the US? And I was like, no, like I'm good. (laughs) But that year I had a teammate that she left in January for America, and before she left, she explained to me like what she was gonna do, like her school, like all the gear that she was gonna get, and like the experience, and I was like, you know, that's actually, sounds fun, you know, because school in Spain is so much harder. Hmm. And I was on my freshman year of college. (laughs) 
and I was passing all my classes with 65, you know, <laughs> and it was not good. <laughs> she was like, yeah, like, gotta go, like, it's so good. So I talked to him and I was like, hey, like, I'm, I wanna go. And he started emailing um, schools and, you know, like here schools when they have, they have good relationship with other coaches, they will send the email and be like, hey, I have this player that you might be interested in. And I don't know how, something <laughs> they coach got uh, coach chambers coach Kelly like reached out reached out that we, they were one of the schools and I had other schools not many but I had some others but Iona was the one that just they kept in contact they were interested in my games like hey how do you do like how's your game I was was actually playing a tournament <coughs> like a final four they were like hey like good luck on your final four like we're gonna watch they watch the game like you could feel that they were really interested in me. The other schools were like, hey, yeah, we want you. They mm -hmm. wouldn't contact again for a long time. So I don't know, I had that feeling of closeness of like with the coaches that were great. And also it's New York, you know, I was like, <laughs> New York, for somebody like me from Spain, New York is like a movie. <laughs> so I was like, I, told, I was talking to my parents. I was like, like it's New York, like that would be amazing. Mm. So I, I'm still here. Here I am. <laughs> How was that conversation with your parents? I feel like that's not an easy decision to make. No, they they support me and everything. They are good because they know that this is what I want to do and this is what is going to get me to the next level. So, yeah, of course, they're my parents. Like, it was, mm. and I'm the youngest ah. kid. So <laughs> they were like, oh, my God, you know, our baby is gone. <laughs> but there was no change in my mind. For me, it was like more going with the flow. I was like, I feel like that's what I have to do and I'm gonna do it. And they were like, yeah, okay, <laughs> go ahead. I'm like, nice. <laughs> yeah. So how have you liked Iona so far and like has living in New York lived up to your expectations? Absolutely. Well, <coughs> um, I would say I didn't get the, also the, like, the full New York experiences. We don't live mm -hmm. in the city, yeah. you know, that's what I was expecting. But I love this so much better. New York, it's exhausting. <laughs> There's too much people. Everything's so big. Mm -hmm. New Rochelle is so calm, so just chill. But yeah, I, I love it. It's, I don't know, it's been my home for five years and I wouldn't change it for anything. I made friends, had experiences here, everything that made me who I am, so I mm. love it. So now going like outside of basketball and outside of school, do you have any hobbies or things you like to do in your free time? Mm, not really. Like, I will watch Netflix. Like that's hmm. my go-to when I'm. Netflix like, is great. Right? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I have, I have accounts in Netflix, Hulu. <laughs> I have everything. Um, listen to music. That's my, also like I always have to have music. Hmm. When I'm in the shower or studying, doing homework, like I need music. I need something. But I don't mind, like, I like painting. My mom, she's a, like, she loves painting too. Sometimes we just get together and paint. Well, <laughs> when I'm home, no. Yeah. <laughs> but not really. Do you watch any sports or anything? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. I love sports. I love watching sports. That's, I take it from my dad. Hmm. We always watch sports. And I, the thing is, I, I watch sports that I have never watched. And I will understand the rules as soon as <laughs> I watch it. I was like, okay, I know what she's doing that, why he's doing that. <laughs> so I love watching sport. Any any sport, I'm I'm good with it. Yeah. Have you seen any of the rugby games? Because those are those are oh. a little tough to understand. <laughs> I my dad used to play rugby. Oh, so, okay, there you go. <laughs> so I love rugby. I love watching it. Man, it's first fun. time we were watching it, it's like they're hosting mm -hmm. people yeah. up and uh, <laughs> doing all this crazy stuff. I'm like, what yeah. is, what is going on in this game? <laughs> Have you been following the World Cup? Oh, absolutely. Oh, of course. Yeah. Every um every day, watching <laughs> watching any game. What what's your team? Argentina. Argentina. Yeah. Okay, makes you sense. Think they can win it all. Uh, yeah, hmm. I I believe that. Who do you say is like the biggest challenger to Argentina in the World Cup? Oh, um, well, right now today, for example, it's the Netherlands, so mm. they just focus on that. But any team, I guess, like Brazil, there's always a competition there. Cause, mm. You know, South America, yeah. we always battle for the Mary Cup or something. But either way, like on the other side of the bracket, you have France, you have um, Portugal. 
you know, they, they're mm -hmm. all good teams, so it would I just depend on who has the better day, you know. Mm. I hope Ronaldo wins it, but <laughs> it would be nice to see Messi win it, too. <laughs> no, Messi. Messi better. <laughs> Messi, 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 Messi. <laughs> <laughs> so who or what are your inspirations for life or for basketball? Um, if you have any, of course. Yeah. Um, there's not one specific person that I will look up to in life. It's just like I learn from everybody that I know. They have their things, um, things that I take, and I'm like, oh, I will. I wish I would like be like that, you know. Um, so I just take a little bit from everyone, I guess, and I just asm admire everyone what they do, what they're best at, or they're just how they are, and I just take it. Basketball-wise, right now, I would say that I look a lot. Um, Jimmy Butler, mm. you know, I love the way he plays. He's wearing 22, you know, also. <laughs> so. Um, so I look up to him, like, the, his hard work, his ethic mm. in basketball. But, yeah, inspirational, just everybody. Mm. Everybody can be an inspiration, so just take it. Jimmy Butler, incredible. Right? Last year in the finals, he was carrying right. the team. He was doing everything for him. Oh, I He's love got him. a crazy backstory too. If you yeah, like, the backstory is insane. Yeah, mm. I think he got like He's kicked out of the house first, when he was like twelve yeah. or something. Mm. I love crazy. him. That's what it's I mean. It's like his love for this sport. He's he's very smart on the mm. court. He's I think he's one of the best, smartest players, like in mm. defense or offense. His way of playing is like so slow, so calm, mm. and mm. then he just jumps, gets rebound, like scores, like the last the last second. Like he's just a full round player he can mm. do everything so mm -hmm. i feel like he's I, very like underrated too like mm -hmm. not a lot of people like when they're talking like who's like the top five or top ten yeah. like jimmy butler's not mentioned i feel like he should be mentioned because mm -hmm. he literally carried like his team to the finals it's i crazy. agree he carried the team mm -hmm. every single day like and right now i because i love him so much i check cause, um i follow him like i watch all their games mm. and they play a lot of games so every mm -hmm. two days they're playing <laughs> yeah. so i'm like every two days I'm supposed to be doing homework and I have Miami <laughs> Heat playing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I just follow him more and he carries the team. Mm. It's like that kind of leadership that I just look at him and I'm like, okay, that's what I like, that's what I want to do, you know, like I want to do what he's doing with his team. Mm. You know? yeah. so. so you said you wanted to pursue basketball after mm -hmm. college. What is the goal eventually, like after that? So like say you do make it to a Spanish national team or mm -hmm. a Spanish uh, professional team, what would you like to do after that, if there's anything? <laughs> it's pretty far away. So. Yeah, <laughs> I, ho I hope it's far away, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't have a specific hmm. like, thing, or like, I know that after that, after basketball, I'm gonna do this, like it's my purpose, and like, mm -hmm. no, because I'm, I just live it up to day, you know, every day, I just live it. But um, with studying public relations, one of my classes was um, nonprofit organizations. Mm. So my idea is that many years from now, I might, might have made my name out there, like people will know me. Mm. Might not the world, but you know, like mm -hmm. good amount of people will know me. So maybe I can do my own organization, nonprofit organization, um, regardless, like regarding basketball, like something related with basketball. I don't know specifically mm -hmm. that will come when the time comes so um yeah just doing something with that and if that doesn't work i i don't know i will see you know would you ever want to be a coach i'm not gonna say never okay <laughs> but it's not my no not my okay. strength no <laughs> it, it's a hard job mm. it's very hard and it takes a lot so i'm like no. I don't know, maybe in the end I'll end up being a coach, you know? Mm. You never know where life yeah. will take you, so. True. I'm, that's why I'm not gonna say never, but mm. it's not my preference, sure. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Juana, so much for joining the show this week, mm -hmm. and thank you to all of you who are listening. This has been the season finale of the Athletes Roundtable. We will be back next semester with brand new shows, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you again for all your support throughout the entire semester. This has been Ryan, Jordan, 
signing off.